Steffi Graf, born in Germany in 1969, started playing tennis at a young age. She showed immense talent, and it didn't take long for her to make her mark in the tennis world. But was she really that good from the beginning? Today we're diving into the legendary career of one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Steffi Graf. We'll find out if she was truly as good as the tennis world claims in this video. So let's get started. Welcome to Game Set Matched. Subscribe and let's dive in. To be called a legend in the tennis world, you have to be exceptionally good. Steffi Graf, who was born on June 14, 1969 in Mannheim, West Germany, was not just good, she's often considered the greatest female player of all time. She had an outstanding career with numerous achievements, making her stand out among the legends in tennis. Steffi Graf started playing tennis at the age of three, introduced to the sport by her father, Peter Graf. Under his guidance, she developed a remarkable playing style. She had a powerful forehand and incredible footwork that set her apart from others in the tennis world. Her journey to greatness began at a young age. At 13, she won the prestigious Orange Bowl Championships which is a significant achievement in junior tennis. What's even more impressive is that she followed this up with a victory at Junior Wimbledon the following year. Winning the Orange Bowl is already a remarkable feat for a 13-year-old, but winning both the Orange Bowl and Junior Wimbledon in consecutive years is an extraordinary accomplishment. Steffi Graf's success as a junior player provided a strong foundation for her senior career, even though she was still actively participating in junior tournaments at that time. Her incredible talent and early achievements marked her as one of the all-time greats in tennis. Steffi Graf's professional tennis journey began in 1982 when she received a wild card entry to the German Open and won her first professional match, showing her talent even at a young age. Her success continued in 1983 when she received another wild card entry to the French Open, making it to the fourth round. While still competing on the junior stage, Graf also made strides on the professional circuit. In 1984, she won the French Open junior title, and the following year, she added the Wimbledon junior title to her list of accomplishments. What's truly remarkable is how Graf rose from being ranked 124th to the sixth best female player in the world between 1983 and 1985. But Graf's ascent didn't stop there. In 1985 and early 1986, she began challenging Martina Navratilova and Chris Evert, two tennis legends of the time. Though she lost to them several times initially, Graf's breakthrough came on April 13, 1986, when she won her first WTA tournament and defeated Chris Evert in the final of the Family Circle Cup in Hilton Head, South Carolina. After that victory, Graf never lost to Evert again. At just 18 years old in 1987, Steffi Graf made a resounding entry into the tennis elite by winning her first Grand Slam title at the French Open. She also secured four more titles in the same year, including the WTA Tour Championships. On August 17, 1987, Graf claimed the number one spot in the WTA rankings, starting her reign as the undisputed queen of the sport. What makes Graf's number one ranking exceptional is that she held it for an astonishing 377 consecutive weeks, which is over seven years. This record for both male and female players remains unbroken to this day and is the longest anyone has ever stayed at the number one spot in tennis. Steffi Graf's achievements truly set her apart as a legend in the world of tennis. Steffi Graf was like a superwoman on the tennis court, always surprising everyone with her amazing skills. In 1988, she achieved something that most tennis players only dream of, winning all four major tournaments in a calendar year. She conquered the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open. To top it off, she also won a gold medal at the Olympic Games in Seoul, making her the only tennis player in the world to achieve a golden slam. Over the next few years, Steffi Graf showed absolute dominance in tennis. She collected a total of 22 Grand Slam singles titles, which included seven Wimbledon titles, six French Open titles, five US Open titles, and four Australian Open titles. She's the only player, male or female, to have won each of the four Grand Slam tournaments at least four times. But it's important to understand that Graf didn't achieve all this overnight. It took years of hard work, 
consistency and determination to earn her place in the Tennis Hall of Fame. One of her exceptional qualities was her amazing footwork. In tennis, fast and graceful footwork is crucial, and Steffi Graf was the best at it. Her ability to move swiftly and cover the entire court was unmatched. She seemed to teleport across the court, returning seemingly impossible shots with power that unsettled her opponents. Graf's footwork and court coverage were extraordinary. She had the speed and agility to compete with top athletes in any sport. Her defensive footwork was like a magical dance routine, making her a formidable force on the tennis court. This footwork on the tennis court was like a graceful figure skater, gliding effortlessly to the perfect spot to handle powerful shots. Her footwork wasn't just for defense, it was also her secret weapon to turn defensive positions into powerful offensive plays. Even in retirement, when she occasionally returned to the court, her footwork showcased her dedication and passion for the game. But if there's anything greater than her footwork, it's her forehand. Graf's forehand is a remarkable combination of power, accuracy, and versatility. It's widely considered the greatest single ground stroke in the history of women's tennis. What set Graf's forehand apart was her ability to hit the ball with incredible force and generate significant topspin while maintaining control. Her impeccable timing and court positioning made her forehand a force to be reckoned with. She could hit winners from anywhere on the court, thanks to her excellent footwork and timing. What made watching Graf play so captivating was the elegance with which she executed every step and swing. It was like watching a beautifully choreographed dance routine where each movement seemed effortless. Her impact extended beyond the court, setting standards that inspired countless aspiring tennis players. She showed them that with hard work, determination, and the right techniques, they too could reach for the stars. Steffi Graf didn't just make a mark in the world of tennis, she left an impact so significant that it's like leaving a crater on the moon. To match her standards, not only in women's tennis, but in the entire tennis world, would indeed take something extraordinary. In conclusion, Steffi Graf's greatness can't be denied. She wasn't just a young prodigy, and her achievements weren't merely a stroke of luck. She was a tennis genius, dominating the sport with her incredible skills, mental toughness, and longevity at the top. While some may argue about the level of competition, Graf's undeniable talent, achievements, and legacy make her one of the greatest tennis players of all time. So, was Steffi Graf really that good? Yes, she was, and she continues to inspire new generations of tennis players to strive for greatness. Thanks for joining us on Game, Set, Matched. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. And don't forget to share your thoughts on Steffi Graf in the comments below. Until next time, keep swinging those rackets, and we'll see you on the court.